Well, I'm very excited for Coach Paternos. I know what it means. Uh, Coach Coviello, when I broke his record a long time ago, he said, Warren, records are made to be broken. And I can't think of a better guy than Coach Paternos to break it. He's a quality coach and he's a quality person. So I, I'm just delighted. I'm delighted that I got here with my wife today. I want to look forward to congratulating him for many, many more victories. Over 40 years ago, Notre Dame graduate Vic Paternostro was hired to teach at Pope John. I know uh, I came here. I know I fell in love with uh, fell in love with uh, teaching math, and uh, and football uh, came along with it. And I had a tremendous group of young kids when we started. I mean, we we had won one game in seven years when I came here, and then uh, then just to go at it from there and slowly build a program was just a great feeling. Paranastro credits a supportive administration for his success. I can't thank anybody else but uh, Monsignor McHugh. I mean, he's, to, have a, to have a boss like that is, is just tremendous, that, that believes, in, believes in athletics for the purpose that they're at, but more importantly, believes in academics. And uh, it makes my job a hell of a lot easier to get people into uh, college when we, we believe in athletics and you're not going to be, you know, pass through or not. The other thing is, is discipline. We're not going to shove anything under a rug. You know, we have a, we have a problem. We're going to deal with it. Over the years, Vic's philosophy has been to translate lessons learned on the athletic field to real life. If you want to be a success in life, you have to be a success in a classroom and you you got to give it your 100% on a football field. You may not be the greatest football player in the world. Hey, you get into life. You may not be the the greatest uh, real estate agent, greatest insurance man, or something like that. But you will know when things get tough what you have to do. And that's what that's what the, we want to teach you. What life is about. That is the most important thing. It is the most important. This day and age, and you know the way the family life is uh, deteriorating. I mean, we got to work harder than ever as coaches. And uh, you know, sometimes we got to be the the, the, the parents at home with them too, and you, you got to care about the kid. The kid, the kid may need a, a, a little a pat on the back here or there, and may need a little boot in the in the butt. And you you got to know when to boot and when to hug him. And that's uh, that's some of the toughest jobs you got. Chris McGrath played for Coach Paternostro in the mid '70s and was on hand to congratulate him. It's great. He's just a great coach. Uh, you know, I've been here, I guess, since 1973, so I've seen a lot of games, and he's just he's as good a coach as anybody in New Jersey. He takes a bunch of kids that don't know each other and uh, really gets them to come together as a team and believe in each other and, uh, you know, shows them that if they do work hard, they will be successful. So he's just a great coach. Former player and current defensive coordinator Chris Kappelmeyer is happy to be part of Coach Paternostro's legacy. It's just fantastic to be a part of, of Coach uh, reaching this milestone. I mean, I guess, I, I think when I was playing, I'm not sure if he was around 100 or 75 or something. I was on a field for, for one of those. And, uh, and then uh, I was coaching here after he won 200 and uh, almost was victim number 300 as a head coach myself. Um, but, you know, just to be around him for this was, was tremendous, you know, to, to be a part of this, uh, this right here right now. A big part of Coach Vic's success has been the fact that he always gets the most from his players. He defies reason. I mean, he just he he gets kids to play at a, at a level that's that's amazing. Uh, you know, we we don't really do you know fancy things or anything like that. It's you know it's it's basic football when you get right down to it, and he manages to get the most out of his players, and that's that's the the, the key, I guess.